Oh my god, finally. Finally, thank you, Hoi for Gods. Republican Spain has finally won the Civil War. I've never been this close to orgasming live on camera. So I just realized in the new Wake in the Tiger DLC, it is pretty plausible that the AI from both Germany and Japan convert to a different ideology. They both now have crazy alternative history paths, but what if they decided to do it in the same game at the same time? Germany will be going back towards the monarchy, where Japan is going communist. Italy is the only thing I had to change myself because their focus tree still fucking sucks. Also, I think this portrait's new. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it was added a long time ago, who knows. I'm not exactly sure who's gonna be causing World War II now. I guess it could still be Germany. My money was on the Soviet Union. They could do some crazy shit. I don't know about Japan though. I think they're gonna be teaming with Mao. So he'll be distracted. Well, here we go. Let's see how the AI does in the Civil War. I'm assuming Hitler's not too happy, not only because people are trying to kill him, but also because this German man is just a whole lot manlier. He makes Adolf look like a little boy. And come on, okay, this has gotta be the first time it happens. No one's gonna be supporting Franco. All the fascist nations are gone. This is it. Please finally lose. You know, I just realized it is really possible to see three civil wars in Western Europe. It probably won't happen this time, but you know, France goes through that communist thing, and sometimes they don't convert peacefully. Well, it looks like we're gonna get a third civil war either way, except this is in the Far East. I don't know why, I thought it was gonna be a peaceful revolution. I didn't expect this. And just as that one pops up, the other one's over. All right, so the monarchy has been restored. Wow, I really hope they don't go democratic. I was not expecting this high of support for this ideology. Whoa, Romania is guaranteeing a lot of different countries right now. What's going on? Czechoslovakia, Poland, Turkey, Greece. There's still no faction over here. Still, that's, that's kind of weird. Oh, also I just noticed the Axis has been dismantled. I, I probably should have expected that. This could be bad. Alf Landon has once again graced us with his presence. Doesn't really mean much, but sometimes I feel like he does get involved a little bit less in the European wars. Oh my God, finally. Finally, thank you, Hoi for Gods. Republican Spain has finally won the Civil War. Just to remind everyone, that has never happened in one of my AI games. Every single time, Franco always wins. I've never been this close to orgasming live on camera. Oh, sexy Mao just joined the common turn. That'll likely pull Stalin into a war with the East. Eventually, I think. Maybe with China, because I don't know if Japan is still gonna attack now. I'm kind of wondering if the AI will still form their East Prosperity Sphere. There's also this really crazy standoff with Hirohito trying his best to protect Tokyo, but I don't know if that'll last. It's pretty cool that Imperial Japan still has all of the Navy. Obviously, the Communist Uprising didn't get any of that. Oh yeah, buddy, you're gonna want to think, you're gonna want to think twice about that. I don't think you want to attack the Comintern, so you probably shouldn't attack Mao. No, it's not Mao. It's it's somebody else, Wang Ming. Wang Ming, god damn it. Well, there usually ain't nothing wrong with getting a little bit of Wang in your life, but now is kind of not the time. Anyways, something's going on in the East. Obviously, these two really don't like Communist China, as well as they're improving with non-aligned China. Oh, that's sweet. Mao still has a job. Okay, good, good. You can't starve anyone down here. The German Empire seemed to be not so happy with Communism. I think that's how we'll finally see World War II break out. So that whole improving relations thing, what, what was up with that? I guess that shit got thrown out the window. Now normally, Communist China is kind of screwed here, but not in this situation. Luckily for non-aligned China, no one else is involved. So there's no way they can get over here. Afghanistan seems to be the first nation that's just randomly turning communist. I think we'll see a lot more of that though. Wait, wait, don't do it. This, this is not a good idea. Trust me. Don't pull more people in. Damn, I guess we are getting another civil war. This is gonna be our fourth one so far. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind if the Democrats win, just because I think the allies are gonna need the help. There's there's a lot of communism. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen. Uh, so that means we have three major European nations that are full on commie. I just really hope they don't join the common turn. Maybe we'll see France get that uh, French faction up. That'd be nice. That is hilarious. All right, China is gonna be forever alone because of course no one's gonna wanna join in on this shit. As well as again, communist Japan still hasn't made any progress. It's a standstill. Well, that was fast. Communist China is dead, but obviously they still have lots of other problems to deal with. Oh my God, yes. Papa's back, guys. Papa Wilhelm is back. As well as I noticed this Polish faction formed up. Is there a chance that maybe the German Empire joined that? It's 1941 and world tensions still only at 17%. That's a little troubling. Also, God damn, how is the Soviet Union this powerful? Oh, that's not good. I just love these borders so much. It is 
It is perfect. Thank you, Poland, for helping out. Whoa, 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 Stalin! Improving relations with Germany. Uh, why? We also have another faction that just formed. Unfortunately, Czechoslovakia is democratic, so I, I don't see how that happened. Uh oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't expect this, but I probably should have. This on occasion can happen, but yeah, it has to do with the communist side of Japan joining the common turn, which uh, something really strange has happened. China just white peace. Finally, all right, that was like the longest civil war. So this makes it official. There are no more fascist leaders in this world. Oh, and also, uh, I guess Qing China gets to just annex Korea. That's kind of cool. I, I guess I'm all right with that. Papa, I, I don't mean to question your intelligence, but in a world where communism is basically everywhere, I wouldn't form a faction like this. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Thank you so much, Stalin. It was about to be 1943. There still hadn't been a World War II yet. I think this might be it, though. Yep, I can already tell. I don't even know exactly what happened. It's just, it's just kind of obvious. Romania joined the Polish faction, and I guess this is what they got to deal with now. That logic doesn't really make much sense, unless... I think there might have been a lot of people guaranteeing Poland, or something like that. Nice. They also got Democratic Brazil on their side as well as Turkey joined the French. The Kaiser also made some new friends with Austria and Finland joining their side. I actually didn't think they were gonna get anybody. All right, the whole world must have been getting ready to bust this nut for war because world tension's only at 19% and we have a whole bunch of places just joining all these teams. Siam joined the French as well as we've got a couple of Chinese warlords joining the Germans and I don't even know what happened here. Communist China's back or something and they're attacking regular China again. Oh, I'm an idiot. That would be why. How the fuck did this happen? Not only was the Chinese United Front dropped, but British Raj just left the Allies. Alright, I didn't know they could actually do that. That might also be a first. I've never seen the Indian AI just leave the British like that. Something has clearly changed in terms of the way factions work, because uh, people were just leaving their own thing to join the Germans. That's cool, I like it, but I'm still very confused. This would have been a pretty powerful common turn too, since Japan was on their side even though they have been spending the last three years just trying to win that civil war. Now, even though Stalin's dealing with a lot, I think he's gonna be able to hold his own for a while now. I mean, he has 622 divisions, 6 million manpower, over 156 factories, and as you can see, the AI clearly has its shit together. It's staying incredibly organized, isn't it? Brazil just did a naval invasion east of Crimea. Now Sweden is starting to flood in. What the fuck? This is the second time they've done something incredible in Waking the Tiger. Maybe I overestimated Stalin a bit. I thought the Soviets were really, really powerful. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are doing pretty well, but they are facing like the entire world. Plus, there's just no way this front against the Chinese is gonna go that well. As time goes by, this is gonna be bad for them. There's also a ton of countries over here helping out Raj. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I think Yunnan took control. That explains why the Chinese United Front was dismantled and uh, they joined the Germans. That's the second time that's happened in a video. I was kind of hoping for something different. Oh, I can see the Italians are on the side of Stalin. That's kind of weird. I figured they were gonna have a much bigger impact on Europe. You know, I didn't think it was possible for these German borders to get much sexier, but no, I was wrong. Damn, that's hot. Now, why the hell would the UK do that? You're gonna win the war against the Soviets, but you also want Legoland? You're getting kind of greedy. I guess it doesn't matter that much. They joined the common turn, so they're gonna get slaughtered. Really, Italy? You too? You too. All right, well, there's another. I did not realize just how powerful Qing China got. I guess they just took all of Imperial Japan's territories. Too bad they didn't join a faction, though. That's a whole lot of divisions right there. I'm definitely not used to this. It's gotta be the first time we've seen World War II break out in the mid-1940s. Oh, just look at the way the AI perfectly divided up Italy. That is, that is something else. Needless to say, this was a massive peace deal. China only took four states, French Commune only took seven. All right, but we know who really got gypped, right? A couple people were puppeted. That's because the French faction are mainly communists, so that's just kind of what they do. All right, there was a lot of people that were puppeted. Let me just say that. This doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. Just just don't, don't look up here. Because most things were puppeted, like I said, Borders really haven't changed. Well, except for Italy. Italy was also almost completely annexed, so, I mean, that's kind of horrible. Wow, and there was really no time for peace. The Germans went immediately after Republican Spain, and they joined the French alliance. I think they're kind of screwed either way, because besides Germany, this is where they're getting a lot of power from. That did not take Wilhelm long at all to already take Paris. That was basically like a month later. The Allies could get involved themselves, but I doubt it. The UK have a war goal against Sweden, 
Sweden might die before that though. I did not think we were gonna see this happen. That is so cool. The AI formed a nation. Unfortunately, I can't pronounce that nation, but still, that's pretty badass. I actually think we'll see that nation pop up quite a bit because Siam does like to attack French Indochina and it doesn't seem very difficult to take. And there was the very quick war to finish off the communists. I don't think I can even refer to it as a World War III because it kind of wasn't. Germany, once again, took over 100 states. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Yeah, basically just everything was annexed. Kind of what I expected. Well, mainland Europe is now just completely German territory. Actually, a lot of a lot of places are just completely German territory. It was pretty cool that we were able to do this video without any mods. Like, I'm not used to that, to have such a radically different alternative history Hoi 4 game. That's nice that they've been considering that for Awaken the Tiger, and I can't wait to see more. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my supporters on Patreon, Elfie, Wyon, my Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, Elijah Senpai, Jens the Love Disc, Ko Anthony, Jungkook's Bay, Kirby, Matthew Ellis, Rusferication, Matthew King, and Furry Cruz. If you also want to become my daddy, there will be a link in the description down below.